Our team coverage continues as Dayton police will meet with the public tonight. It is national night out for police officers all across the country. It's an annual event. We've covered it for years, but of course this year is an especially important night uh, for our local police and residents to connect following the Dayton mass shooting over the weekend. Tunis reporter Leah Williamson live with the how this year will be different in Dayton. Well, things are just getting started here in Residence Park. The caravan of Dayton law enforcement and city officials is expected to be here at any moment. Behind me, people are starting to set up their lawn chairs. Uh, the music just began. You can smell the burgers and dogs on the grill. But like you said, this national night out is a bit different. Two days ago, six Dayton police officers risked their lives by running towards a threat, saving countless lives that, uh, that's been applauded by many over these last few days. You now, usually national night out allows the citizens, law enforcement, Enforcement city officials that one on one FaceTime. But tonight, people are saying this might be an opportunity for the community to give thanks. A lot of people are hurting and kind of in disarray because of what's happened. Um, I hope that people will come out and support because uh, National Night Out is just, you know, it's an event that is a community event. I think uh, we definitely should support law enforcement when they're doing what they're supposed to do. You know, I don't think we. Um, I don't know, you have, you have, everyone looks at it differently, but I think you should support that because they were, they did help in that situation. Again, the caravan will begin here and end in the Oregon District around 7.30. We're sure more mention of Sunday's tragedy will continue to come up and we'll keep you informed. For now, in Residence Park, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.